37. I've... Well, no, this is interesting. I mean, I... I, 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 I uh, birthday time is here. And uh, I'm 37. And this is podcast number 37. Coming to you, not quite live and not quite the other side of the world, but close enough for uh, blues and jazz. And that's saying a lot, folks. Blank paper in hand. So it sounds like I'm reading from something because that's what marketing is all about. And speaking of marketing, you know, I've, I've been wanting to write this uh, down. Uh, well, I did write it down and wanted, wanted to go and read it. Um, marketing problems are a product line problem. I, um, you know, I get this stuff about SEO, 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 SEO. You got to have SEO. And I'm like, well, um, is Google searchable? Is Google SEO friendly? I mean, let's say that you don't know about Google and you want your, your Google, your Google, you work at Google. And in which case I feel sorry for you this week, uh, but you work at Google still somehow and I mean, you're, you're not a woman. Uh, you, you don't have open, I, you, you have open ideas. And, and by some miracle, you're still working at Google. And you're sitting there and you're thinking, what about the people who don't know about Google, who never heard of Google? How do we make it so that when they go to their favorite search engine, that they'll search and discover Google? What do you do? Does Google have SEO friendly stuff on their pages? Well, I mean, I mean, do, do the do the Google guys contact um, Yahoo? Do they contact um, the other the Bing? Do they con- do they contact Microsoft? Do they contact Duck Duck Go, the a rising web crawler? Do they contact those guys and say, "Hey, guys"? When you search the internet, or people use you to search the internet, you search for them, do, we want to make it so that you can find us easily. When someone goes to yahoo.com and types, types search engine, we want them to find us at the top of your list on yahoo.com. Is that what Google does? I No, I mean, seriously, I've, I've got... George, don't look at me in that tone of voice. I'm not being sarcastic. I'm being serious, George. Can't you tell someone being serious? Well, if you think that me being serious is sarcastic, then maybe there's something wrong with the line of thinking that I'm talking about or being serious or sarcastic about. Everyone says you've got to have SEO without, well, nearly everyone. Your dear host does not believe that. Which? Who used a search engine to discover Google? If everything needs to be found only by SEO, then what about Google? People discovered Google by talking. Word of mouth is a useful thing. Getting your website so that it's quote unquote SEO ready. That's only one angle of business. I mean, in the olden days, uh, you could start a business by running a Yellow Pages ad in the phone book. In the olden days, you could start a business by running outside in the street and shouting to everybody what you're selling or, or doing something awesome like taking what you sell to the streets and rolling through the streets to be convenient for people. But in the days where everyone has transportation... You going around and moving actually makes it difficult because now everybody wants to go to you. Before, it was hard. So if they just sit and you roll by and the whole market, everyone sits at home and the marketplace rolls by their house, you know, they did that in Asia a lot. That would be convenient. But today, that doesn't work very well. So now, SEO, that's just Google marketing. That's all that is. SEO should be called Google marketing. If you have, if if you've, if if you can't get products without SEO, then you don't have good enough products that people talk about it. 
and you know, when, when you sell, when you're the only one, when you're the only one selling what you sell, SEO is super easy. I mean, you're, you're the only one. I mean, go search Ophanim memoirs, go search it right now on the internet and you will find pictures of my ebook at the top because people don't write yet. That's right. This week, I finally announced the pre-order release October 17. Some of you will get it. Uh, I finally set the pre-order because I, I finally wrapped up, uh, Ophany memoirs. It's, it's ready. It's coming. It'll, it'll sell for two ninety nine. And while it's on pre-order in, in a lot of the ebook stores, not, not Amazon, Amazon wants to miss out on the first 1000, but you can, you can sample it free and, uh, download it and stuff. Uh, if you, that's right, it'll be promoted app, the iBook store, Barnes and Noble memoirs of opening. What were the angels doing before God made the earth? I mean, really, it, it covers through the angelic history. It's the backstory. It's, it's what's going on behind the scenes with human history and through the judgment since before creation. And I've done my research and thought about it and it's there. It's a well-written book. It's kind of like, um, it's kind of like, uh, the, the Samarillion. It was kind of like the Samarillion. Um, yeah, background for light. Like if the Samarillion was the background book for Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit to get more of the mythology of what was going on and the little nuances and the little backstories that you'd see in the films and the books. And, you know, that, that explained what was going on better. You get a better perspective. Well, memoir or opening memoirs goes back and it elaborates on what's happening in the universe and in the universe in the Bible would make more sense if you had that background. That was my idea. Well, we have background story for life. So when you're the only one that's doing what you're doing, when you found your niche, you don't even need to be SEO, dude. SEO marketing is not the main thing. Be yourself, be yourself. You know, I've been working and developing this verb that thing for a while, and I'm talking to friends and I'm finding out that I haven't been all that off base. You know, a simple little server in the cloud and it's running everything for you. It's running Hillary mail. It's, it's running your website. It's running your cloud storage, your cloud sync, your own file. I mean, I had this whack idea and I just said, I want to be really good at this. And I didn't go do market testing. It just made sense to me. And now I've got a number of friends I'm talking with and I'm finding out they're getting into Ubuntu coding and they're interested in using it. And I'm looking at finishing the project. And I'm, I'm really thrilled that I can focus on this now because I finally got Ophany memoirs finished. So as I help different people with their marketing and I help people take their brain and they try to enter a market, we've got a lot of different things that we can do. You, you can take your product and give it to a, a YouTuber. You don't necessarily have to do SEO and there's a lot of in the box thinking and, and I I just be yourself. Don't think that just because things were done away yesterday doesn't mean we have to do them that way today. And don't let anyone try to tell you that they do. Just yesterday I was talking with a friend and he said, I want to be a professional, not a consultant. And I said, well, what if you know, what's wrong with consultants? He said, well, consultants always are chasing customers. I said, well, what if your customers and clients are chasing you because you're that good? He said, ah, well, there we go. Now that that could be something. So keep your ideas open and look at what it is you really don't want to have and be open that, that maybe things could turn out a certain cool way. Now, having said that, I want to add another idea, but to do that, I'll just get to the point. Encouragement never hurts. Sometimes we need truth, especially when truth is as hard to find as it is to hear. Sometimes we need correction, all the more when we're going the wrong way. But we always need encouragement. Encouragement is not a blanket claim that any ambition can be achieved by any amount of effort or by any means. Whether chasing a goal or seeking a goal to chase, remember that success awaits everyone on the condition that we pursue the right goal in the right way with the right effort. That's encouraging. Remind yourself. Remind everyone you meet. Encourage. That's the point. I'm Jesse Steele. JesseSteele.com.